Well, welcome back to Bible Nuggets. I'm Andy Blaylock, joined by Brother Chris Hammond. Hello again, folks. Good to have you as always. We're going to remind you our theme verse is Matthew 4, 4. But he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. So, Brother Chris, I'm curious, what kind of nugget do we have today? Well, today we're going to be looking, maybe we put this under two different categories, perhaps. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe commonly misunderstood scriptures, or we could maybe even put this into our other nuggets category. Not quite mm -hmm. sure where this one fits, but we're going to look at some uh, very commonly misunderstood themes, if you will, uh, throughout the world that uh, people believe come from the scriptures, yeah. and they don't. But as we'll see later, nothing could really be further from the truth. Okay, um, now I'm interested. <laughs> <laughs> so what is this misunderstood theme? Okay, so let's let's start with a question, okay? What sin would you have to commit that would send you to an eternal death in hell? Hmm. Now think about this. If I ask that question to most people today, most Christians even, yeah. I'm afraid you get some pretty bad answers, to be quite honest. Mm. For example, if I asked this question, and I've done this in groups before, show of hands, does the sin of murder send you to hell? Now, how many, how many people say, <laughs> yes, yeah. murder would definitely send you to hell? I think if you had, as you know, survey says, if you had a <laughs> survey of people, most of them, if not all of them would agree that, yes, murder would be grounds to send you to hell. Absolutely. Okay. How about adultery? Um, I think that most people, even in our lost society, would say that adultery is bad, that adultery is a sin. And I think maybe not on the same level as murder, because, you know, murder is murder. But mm -hmm. adultery would be, most people would say that would send you to hell, yes. Okay. Well, how about stealing? Mm -hmm. or, or maybe, how about this one, bearing false False witness, lying. Yeah. How about this one? Pride. Mm. After all, remember back there in Proverbs, six things doth the Lord hate. Seven. What's the very first one on the look? It's it's a proud look. Yeah. Do these send you to hell? Well, while I think you may not have as many votes again <laughs> as murder, because you know it's murder, you would probably get a majority who would say like these sins would send you to hell. But brother Chris. These are sins against God. Um, doesn't sin against God have to be punished? You know, it does. Isn't the punishment eternal separation from God as well? Well, sins against God do have to be paid for. Yes, they do. Yeah. And that really brings us to our scripture today. What is our scripture today? Well, let's do this. If I asked you what was the most famous verse in the Bible, where would you go? I would say, I think most people would say John 3.16. Okay. So how about if we turn there, and I ask you to read verse 16, but let me also ask you to read verse 17 with it, okay? okay. Bonus verses. Bonus okay. verse. Absolutely. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Verse 17. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Okay, so here we see that Christ did not come into the world to condemn us. And that's great news. It is great news. But why? Why did Jesus not come mm. to condemn us? I mean, are we sinners or are we not sinners? Did he come to yeah. condemn us? Well, let's read the very next verse, verse 18. Mm. And let me read that for our, our audience today. It says this. It says, He that believeth on him is not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already, mm -hmm. because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. That's right. He did not come into the world to condemn us because we were condemned already. Already. Absolutely. I didn't need a condemner. I was condemned. Yes. I needed a Savior. Amen. Amen. And we see from verse 16 exactly what it takes for Jesus to be our Savior. We must believe. We must place our faith in him. That's right. I, I was condemned, mm -hmm. but now I'm forgiven. Yeah. And, and think about all those sins that we kind of listed there at the beginning, if you will, like murder and adultery, lying, yeah. pride, things like that. 
let's 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 just look at an example in the Bible. Yeah. How about this guy? I think most of our audience would know this name. Yeah. How about King David? Did did King David commit adultery? Not only that, he also <laughs> committed murder. <laughs> he did just that. So that means he's in hell tonight, right? Because we we said murder puts you in hell. Right. But no, he's actually in heaven. He was condemned, but also believed and has a savior. He is forgiven. That's right. All of those sins that we listed can be forgiven. Yep. But our our lesson is what's the sin that sends you to hell? What what sin cannot be forgiven? Yeah. What sin is it that will lead you to hell? In fact, it's really the only sin. Think about this. It's the only sin that every single person who's in hell right now Mm -hmm. has in common. It is the sin of unbelief. Yeah, that's exactly right. You know, a murderer can turn to Christ in faith, like the thief on the cross, and they can trust in him and be saved. But if he doesn't turn in faith then he's not only a murderer or that thief on the cross. He is a unbeliever. He is. I think of that scripture over there in Revelation where the fearful and unbelieving. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then it goes on and it lists murderers and whoremongers and yep. liars and, and, you know, sorcerers. And you think about this. Well, not all sorcerers are murderers. <laughs> no, it's true. Maybe not all warmongers are are are. are Sorcerers, right? But they all have that one sin in common. They all have the sin of unbelief. Absolutely. And you know, if you think about it, a liar who remains an unbeliever, he will die in his sins or murder anyone else. But a liar who turns to Christ in faith, or a warmonger, or yeah. sorcerer, if they turn to faith in Christ, they are saved and they are forgiven. Exactly. And that's why this this lesson is titled "The Sin That Leads to Hell." It is the one and only sin that leads to hell, and it is unbelief. Yeah, but as you mentioned, John 3.16 has the answer to that. Yeah. Believe. It's so simple. And that's why we actually mentioned a few nuggets of not to depart from the simplicity that is in right. Jesus Christ. And right. I think we're going to be talking about that pretty soon in the next time as well. So we hope you join you next time and hope you're doing well and we'll see you soon.